Welcome to my channel. I'm Jones and my channel is all about healthy, delicious, and easy vegan recipes that you can make for your entire family or just for yourself or if you're a couple, you and your partner. They're really easy to adapt to however many people you're feeding. They're great for people who are very busy and on the go. A lot of them are great for taking with you to work or school. I've got some great meal prep videos and some what I eat in a day, but I like to focus on whole foods, plant-based, no dairy, no egg, no meat. It's all just really wholesome and delicious food. So it's salad season now, finally. Here in Colorado, it was snowing and we had cold weather for a really long time. It was actually snowing until mid-May and it was like, when are we going to get some warm weather? Well, it's finally here and I am totally into making and eating some delicious salads. These are really hearty salads. They're not your typical green salad or kale salad, although I do have those kinds of salads on my channel and on my blog. By the way, all these recipes will be on my blog, vegerarchy.com, and all the links will be in the description box below. Before we get started, I just want to say a big thank you to all of you who have subscribed to my channel and supported me in different ways like visiting my blog or my Instagram. So if you want to see more content from me, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, watch more videos and share them with a friend, and of course be sure to subscribe to my channel. So without any further ado, let's get into the recipes. Our first recipe is for a delicious and tangy Mediterranean inspired pasta salad. I'm going to be using some chickpea pasta because it's loaded with protein and I'm not putting any other beans or anything in this salad, although you could if you want to and you can use just regular pasta if you like. Just cook it according to package directions and while that's cooking we will take some grape tomatoes or cherry tomatoes and cut them in half. Next I'm stacking some large basil leaves which I'm going to cut in a method called chiffonade. So you stack the basil leaves and then we're just going to roll them up and then you just slice them up very thinly and this makes a really nice shredded basil. You can see that I've also got some sliced red onion in the background there. I did forget to film chopping that but I'm sure you know how to do that. And next we will cut up some bell peppers. I love yellow bell peppers and that's what I had so that's what I'm using but you could use any color. And then I'm cutting up an avocado which I'm going to cube and the way that I like to do that is right in the skin. I just cube it up and then I'm going to scoop that out with a spoon. But we're not going to add our avocado until we are ready to serve the salad. So next we will make our dressing with two teaspoons of red wine vinegar, a teaspoon of salt, and some freshly ground black pepper. We'll also be adding some olive oil and this recipe does call for three to four tablespoons of olive oil but if that's too much for you, you can always reduce the amount. And I'm adding one large clove of crushed garlic. Crushed is really the way to go, but if you don't have fresh, you can also use garlic powder. And I'm also adding two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. And then I'm just whisking that together until it is completely emulsified. Okay, it's time to assemble the salad. So we've got our pasta, our grape tomatoes, our sliced red onion, some capers, our bell pepper, and our basil. 
Then we'll just add the dressing and we're going to mix that all together until it is all well incorporated. We're going to save our avocado for last because it doesn't keep very well in the refrigerator. So I suggest saving the avocado until you're ready to serve it. If you're doing this for a meal prep, just skip the avocado when you put your pasta in the refrigerator and when you're ready to eat it, you can add it then. Next up is a really hearty barley salad that is also Mediterranean inspired. I've been trying to eat more barley lately because we eat a lot of rice in our household and barley is actually a lot more cost effective than rice and it's packed with nutrients and fiber. So you want to rinse it off just like you would rice. I'm using a fine mesh strainer and just rinsing it with water in the sink and then just cook according to the package directions. So while the barley is cooking, we will make our dressing, which is actually a lot like a tzatziki sauce. So I'm using some plain yogurt. This one is from Kite Hill, but you can use whatever brand you like. I'm adding some dried dill weed, but if you have fresh, that's even better. This is some garlic powder, onion powder, oregano, and salt. We'll just add that along with some lemon juice. And I actually did put some lemon zest in here too, but I didn't show it and make sure you get those seeds out if you get any in the sauce. We'll also add some ground black pepper and then just give that a good stir until it is all well incorporated. Doesn't that sauce look great? This is great for all kinds of stuff. So we'll just put our barley in a bowl. I added half a can of chickpeas drained and rinsed. We've got our bell pepper, our red onion, some halved Kalamata olives, which I just buy a jar of halved Kalamatas. They're so good to just munch on. And then we will add our dressing. And we'll just stir this all together until the dressing is covering everything. One of my favorite ways to eat this salad is just on a bed of greens. I'm using baby spinach here and just pile that salad on. This makes just a perfect meal in itself because the barley and the chickpeas are so hearty. You've got great carbs, protein, healthy fats, lots of veggies, and just for a little flavor, I am going to add some vegan feta. I love the vegan feta from Violife, and it's perfect with this recipe. I'll show you another way I like to eat this. I marinated and air fried some tofu and I'm going to put it all together in a pita sandwich. This sandwich is perfect for taking to work or school or just when you want a quick meal at home. The tofu just adds just a little extra something, some extra protein and flavor and we're just going to pile that salad in there and make sure you get lots of that feta cheese in there and then I just add a little more of some leftover sauce that I had and this sandwich is so good I actually ate it twice in one day for both lunch and for dinner so be sure to try this one now on to our last salad which is a zesty bean and quinoa salad and this one has been on my blog for a long time because it's packed with protein and it's really tasty. So we'll start with some cooked quinoa and we're going to add some drained and rinsed red kidney beans, some bell peppers, any color that you like. I did two colors just to make it extra colorful, some diced celery, some chopped scallions or green onions, and some toasted sunflower seeds. You can use them raw if you prefer, but I love them toasted. Then we'll just add some red wine vinegar and a couple of tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And then we'll also be adding some flax oil or some hemp seed oil, although this is optional. It just adds some omega-3s and adds kind of a nutty flavor to the salad. I'm also using some Marie Sharp's hot sauce. Of course, use whatever brand of hot sauce you like. And if you like it extra spicy, feel free to add more or less if you're a little bit um, 
hesitant about using spice, but I love it spicy. So now we're going to add some fresh ground black pepper and some kosher salt, and then just give that all a good mix until it is all well incorporated. Then I'm adding some fresh cilantro, but if you don't like cilantro, you could use parsley instead. Once that's all mixed together, we want to store it in the refrigerator until it is ready to serve. And again, I love to serve this on a bed of greens. I'm using a prepped salad that I did for my meal prep this week, and then just piling the salad on top of that. I also made some avocado toast with this, which was amazing. So I just toasted up some sourdough bread, spread some avocado on there and put the salad on top and it was so delicious. But any way you eat it, you are going to love this salad. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you try one of these salads. They are so good. You are really going to love them. So don't forget to check out those links in the description box below. Subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment and say hi. Let me know if you're gonna try one of these salads or if you did, let me know what you think. You can also take a picture of what you make and tag me over on Instagram at Vegerarchy. That's it for now. I will see you in the next video and enjoy your salads. Bye.